smell you hobbits as you come back to Pocket Runny. Okay, this is lesson 11 and we're going to be talking about regular polygons. Polygons. Gons means angle. Poly means many. So this term means many angles. We are looking at figures with many angles. A triangle is a polygon. A square is a polygon. A parallelogram is a, par is a polygon. A octagon, hexagon, a dodecagon, decagon, those are all polygons because they have many angles. Regular means that all the angles are congruent. So all angles are congruent. So when we talk about regular polygons, if we're talking about a hexagon, all the angles in that polygon are congruent. If you're keeping up with the formula card, here are some formulas to write down. The total interior degrees, you're going to have to watch some of the wording, total interior. Are we talking about interior or exterior? So total interior degrees is N minus 2. N represents the number of sides of your polygon. The number of sides minus 2 times 180 degrees. Another formula, each exterior angle is 360 degrees divided by the number of sides. Or this formula can be rewritten as the number of sides is equal to 360 degrees divided by each exterior angle. These are the same formulas, just that N is on the left over here, and here it's each exterior on the left. So, okay, we're just going to do these problems by working them. So look at 11D, and you have a shape over here, a polygon with seven sides. To my knowledge, I don't know if there's a name for a seven-sided polygon, but just to show you each angle, remember if there are seven sides, there are also seven angles. And remember, regular means every angle is congruent. So if I can figure out the total number of degrees inside this um, seven-sided polygon, then I can take that total degrees and divide it by seven to figure out what each angle is, how much each angle is. Okay? So the very first thing that you can do, the very first question says, how many diagonals can you make from one vertex? Or can you draw from one vertex? So pick one of the vertexes of the angles, I'm just going to pick here, and just draw you a diagonal from one vertex to another. Start at the same one every time. So I'm going to start at this vertex here. My lines aren't straight, but that's okay. And then from there. So if I start from the same vertex every time and just go to another vertex, how many diagonals did I draw? Well, I drew one, two, three, four diagonals. So I drew four diagonals. Then number two says, how many triangles did I draw? Well, there's one, two, three, four, five. I drew five triangles. Now number three says, what is the total degrees in the polygon? Well, the, the formula that we just learned, total degrees, we said that the total degrees equals N minus 2 times 180. You can take the number of sides minus 2. Our polygon is 7 sided. 7 sides minus 2 equals 5. In other words, we created 5 triangles. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. How many degrees are in a triangle? 180. There's 180 degrees in this triangle, 180 in that triangle, in this triangle, in this triangle, in this triangle. So we can take our five triangles times 180 degrees and that will tell us the total number of degrees in this polygon. And that's where this formula comes from. The number of sides minus two tells you how many triangles you can create. Then you take that number of triangles and multiply it by 180. So we created five triangles n minus 2, 7 minus 2 is 5, times 180 degrees. So if we do 5 times 180, we should be getting 900 degrees. So inside this polygon, I'm going to erase all my triangles. So inside my polygon, I have a total of 900 degrees. Just kind of like a triangle has 180 degrees, a, any kind of quadrilateral, 
a square, a rectangle, a parallelogram, a trapezoid has 360 degrees. This seven-sided polygon is going to have 900 degrees in it. Okay. Then number four says, how many degrees are in each interior angle? Okay, we want to know how much each one of these red angles is. Well, if there's seven of them, if there's seven sides, there's seven angles. We can take our total, 900 degrees, and divide it by the seven angles. We want to take this 900 degrees and divide it evenly into each of these seven angles because regular polygon means they're all, all the angles are going to be congruent. So we can take our 900 degrees and divide it by our seven angles. Okay, and then that will come out to be a decimal and that's okay. That comes out to 128. I'm going to round to two decimals to 128.57 degrees. In other words, every one of these angles, 128.57 degrees, 128.57 degrees, 128.57 degrees, every one of these red angles is 128.57 degrees. Okay, then the next question, number five, what is the measure of each exterior angle? Okay, so now we have to look for the exterior angle. Here you have an interior angle. If I was to extend this bottom line out right there, now I've created myself an exterior angle. If I extend each one of these lines out straight, I basically am creating an exterior angle. What kind of line is this line down here? It's a straight line, a straight angle. How many degrees are in a straight line? 180. When two angles add up to 180 degrees, what kind of angles are they? Supplementary. So you can see that your interior angle and your exterior angle are going to be supplementary angles. They will add up to 180 degrees. For every one, this interior angle will be supplementary to this exterior angle and so forth all the way around the polygon. So if this interior angle right here is 128.57 degrees, then I can figure out what this exterior angle is because they're supplementary. So I basically take, to figure out each exterior angle, I take 180 degrees because they're supplementary minus 128.57. They're going to add up to 180. I'm subtracting off my interior angle, which will give me my exterior angle of 51.43 degrees. I'm going to double check myself. Yeah, 51.43 degrees. Okay, then question number six is, what is the total measure of the exterior degrees? Well, I'm going to prove something to you. Every one of these exterior angles, if it's a regular polygon and every interior is congruent, then every exterior angle is also congruent. It means every exterior angle is 51.43 degrees. 51.43 degrees. Every one of these angles is 51.43 degrees. How many of those do we have? If there are seven interior angles, because it's a seven-sided polygon, there are seven interior angles, there are seven exterior angles. So if we have seven times 51.43 degrees, that comes out to 360.01 degrees. This 01 is from a rounding error, or not an error, but from rounding, because we rounded these, all these numbers to two decimal. You will find that for every polygon, every polygon, a rectangle, a triangle, a hexagon, an octagon, all of your exterior angles, exterior, will add up to 360 degrees. The total exterior Total, total exterior of any polygon will add up to 360. Okay, I will prove it to you. What it, like, let's just look at a rectangle. Okay, well we know the inside of every angle is 90 degrees. So then what is the outside angle, the exterior angle? 90. Well there's four exterior angles. Four times 90 is 360. So, um, let's look at a triangle. Just to prove it to you. 
Okay, I'm just going to look at an equilateral triangle. Equilateral triangle means all of these are 60 degrees. 60, 60, 60. Well, if that's 60, what is the exterior? They have to be supplementary to each other. So that means that this is 120 because 120 plus 60 is 180. Every exterior angle is 120. 120 times 3 is going to be 360 degrees. So there's three of them. The total measure of the, the total exterior will always add up to 360 degrees of any polygon. And that is why in our formula, can you come back up here to our formula? This is why that when you say each exterior, this is why where you get the 360 degrees. Because the total exterior is 360 degrees, so you use that divided by the number of sides to figure out each exterior. Okay, jump back down here to this to number six. You could have figured out um, that's what. Okay, never mind on that. Um, okay. Oh yeah, let's jump back here to number five just to prove using that formula. You could have figured out each exterior angle by also using that formula we just looked at. You could have said using the formula. Each exterior equals 360 degrees divided by the number of sides. That's the formula we just showed. If you took your 360 degrees and divided by 7, which is the number of sides of our polygon, you would have got the same answer as 51.43 degrees. So this shows you two different ways of trying to figure out each exterior depending on what information you have been given in the problem. All right, I want you to go to 11E9. We're going to look at this problem. I want to show you that you can do these problems without ever having a picture drawn because you do not have a picture drawn because it would be very difficult to draw a 20-sided polygon. Okay, But you can use your formulas to determine these answers. In the 11E9, they're asking, what is the total interior? The key is to know what they're asking. Total. You want the total interior degrees of a 20-sided polygon. Well, from your formula, you know that the total degrees equals n minus 2 times 180. n minus 2, n is the number of sides. So that would be the number of sides is 20. 20 minus 2 is 18. Means it's going to form 18 triangles and you multiply every one of those triangles by 180 degrees. When you do 18 times 180 degrees, your total interior degrees is 3,240 degrees. Do not forget your degree symbol. That is a unit. It's a very important. Okay? It means inside that 20 sided polygon, you have a total of 3,240 degrees. Then number 10 says, what is each interior? Each interior. Well, we had to take that 3,240 and divide it evenly amongst those 20 angles. If there are 20 sides, there are 20 angles in the polygon. So to figure out each interior, you need to take your 3,240 and divide it evenly amongst the 20 angles. And when you do that, you will get 162 degrees for each, that's each interior, okay? Then what they want you to do is they want you to check using exterior angles. Remember, the interior and the exterior angles are supplementary. So in order to determine the exterior angle, I can take this and subtract it from 180 because the interior and the exterior are supplementary. So 180 minus 162 degrees is 18 degrees. So each exterior should be 18 degrees, and I can check that by using my formula that says each exterior equals 360 divided by n. Okay, I'm going to subtract some of this off so it gets too crazy. Subtract that sign, I'll subtract it off, I'm going to erase it off. Same thing, subtract it off, erase it off, whatever. Each exterior is 360 degrees divided by n. Well, our number of sides is 20, so 360 degrees divided by 20 and that does come out to 18 and so these two numbers check. I checked it by supplementary angles and I also checked it by using my formula. So when they say to check it, 
There are two ways you can check. To check to make sure your interior and exterior are supplementary and then you can use your formula to figure out each exterior and these numbers should be the same if it checks.